When I was a little kid, when I, when I was little, when I was small, and all the kids were, you know, hitting a home run with two balls, three strikes in the World Series with bases loaded to to to, to, to win the World Series or, or catching the pass in the end zone, you know, to, to, to win the Super Bowl or, or hitting a three-pointer with two seconds left to, to, to win the NBA championships. I was my yard, shadow boxing, Sugar Ray Leonard, and, and Roberta Duran. And, and being the, and being the, the boxing champion, you know that that's always what I wanted to do. I always wanted to be a fighter, and I, I, for some reason, I've always wanted to, to be the toughest and the strongest. And uh, it's just it's just you know it's just what I want to do and who I am. And I still feel, you know, I'm older now, but I still you know I'm smarter and, I, and, I, and I'm a better fighter than I was skill wise. Knowing how to fight, I just feel I can still compete. I still just think that I could I could I could accomplish more in the sport and that, you know, that I'm, I'm an underachiever as of right now and I got by on my personality and and and, 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 and stuff and uh, I just want to get by on, on my fighting ability for, for the last, you know, the, the last quarter or whatever it is left. I want to just get by on, on, on my fighting and, and, and be remembered as that, not not a personality or, or, or a guy that felt a drug test or, or, or any of that shit, you know, a guy that came mm-hmm. short against Shamrock. I, I want I want to be remembered as, a, you know, a, a good, tough fighter, you know, and I'm not stupid. Guys like me aren't remembered, you know, I'm not Randy Couture uh, or even a Frank Shamrock, and, and I just want to, you know, if I'm ever brought up or if, uh, you know, I can at least say to myself, you know, if anyone asks me, I could just say I was, I was I was a tough fighter. You know, I, I had some good fights and I fought pretty good. And especially at the end, I, I put it all together and, and did the best I could with my ability. I just feel I haven't done the best I could with my ability. It's it's a fascinating frame of mind to be in. You're in a unique position, I think, considering the, the kind of career you've had. Um, and looking at it, Phil, with that fire burning, going all the way back to watching boxing and wanting to be a champ, and and coming to a crossroads in your career and, and deciding to go forward and and try to define yourself as a fighter first, maybe personality second. A big challenge for you at this stage. I turned to a tweet you sent out last year, and it stuck with me. And, and in preparing for this interview, I knew I had to find it because it fascinated me on so many levels as a guy that, that, that follows pro wrestling pretty closely as well. You tweeted, watching The Wrestler, good movie. Please don't let this be the story of my life. What was going through your mind when you tweeted that and... And how do you pivot off that at this point in your career? Well, I think you know if I if I if I walked away after 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 the Brad Tavares fight, it might it might have been right that that road, you know, to kind of yeah. I just don't want to be, you know, I just want to be, you know, I just don't want to be that guy, you know, you know, and, and, and you know, I think I was that guy, you know, for the. Uh, for the American style fight, you know, just just at the gym, just just, just you know at AK, you know at the gym, and, and you know, like it reminds me of a it reminds me of a, a quote I, I saw um, um a real good boxer I seen a fight his name I I ran I ran Barkley it kind of like a similar story to me the the, the wrestler it reminds me of that it, it, it's like I, I ran Barkley you know I was a fan of him he was a real good fighter from New York and he uh. He, he he had the interview where the now type deal. It was the Ring magazine, and what he said was, you know, I'm 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 44 years old. I'm on the same street corner I was when I when I was 17. I'm, I'm with I'm, I'm on the same street corner. I live in the same house with my mother. Uh, um, I have the I have, I have the same I have the same friends I did back then. I have the same people here, and he said you know, everything is the same, but 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 only you know, only my dreams are gone, you know. He's exactly where he was when he was 21 years old, but he, but he has no His dreams are gone, you know, to be a world champion, to escape that place, to, 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 to make something of himself. You know? So, for me, you know, that movie is a... Uh, that movie's like, uh, you know, was like that, you know, when you're just, when you're just going through, you know, hold, holding on to something that's gone. So... You know, I think uh, you know it says what it says. So I mean, you can you can take what you want from it, but I, I just don't want to be that guy. You don't want to start start and uh, I don't want to be the guy that's trying to trying to uh, hold on to uh, maybe uh, what's not there.